It's April. Do you know what that means? Let's find out if you do. Let's go get fed. I'm JB, master presenter, former Fortune 50 sales executive, and your guide for everything sales and productivity. I'm the doctor, Dr. Andre Caruso, a clinical psychologist and your resident expert in behavior, mindset, and wellness. We hope you're hungry. It's time to get fed by JB and the doctor. Welcome to the Get Fed by JB and the Doctor podcast. I'm your host today, the doctor, Dr. Andre Caruso, and I'm so excited you're joining us. It is April. Oh my goodness. What does that mean? It means that we are 25% through the year. 75% left to go, though, so you got plenty of time. And before we talk about that, do me a favor. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, share, comment, rate five stars. Do it for the people, man. They need to know that we're out here giving you this information. And we truly, truly appreciate it. Enough shilling that we have to do every time because I think it's in the contract of any time you do a podcast or uh, a, a YouTube video, you have to tell you to do all those buttons. And if it's not, I'm going to do it. Because that's what we do. But what else do I do? I love a gimmick. I love a funny saying or alliteration. You know me? It's what I do. And we have done a great job this year of coming up with some fun stuff. So we know starting in January, we're all excited to start the new year. So we are just jazzed and ready to go in January to launch those new goals, those new affirmations, those new intentions. And we're out the box flying high. Then we get to February. And we hit a little bit of lull. So we needed that fresh start, right? We got that fresh start February to kick us off, get us back going strong. Then we hit March and we were marching forward. We were keeping that momentum going. We were flying along. But now we're in April. So what do we need to do in April? In April, Q2 has begun. So we need to do an assessment. We need to see where we stand. We need to see if we need to make some modifications. We need to see... If the progress we're making is headed in that right direction, we started marching forward. Now we need to make sure that we don't need to make any changes. So we're going to do some assessment. We're going to take a look at those goals. We're going to take a look at those intentions and we're going to see if they are still true to where we stand. And why do I ask that question? Because we made these goals, we made these intentions months ago. We started looking at that probably in October, November, right? And we really started to put it forward in December so that we can start fresh and start strong in January. So these goals, if we think about it, are four to six months old. And I don't know about you, things change quickly, right? In business and in life. So something that we said back then may or may not still hold the same value as it did when we were thinking about it. So April is a great time as we go into Q2 to do that assessment, to see if we're still on track, to see if that still matters to us or if we have to pivot. We love pivoting. So that's what I want you to do. I want to have this conversation around how do we make this assessment? What do we do and why is it valuable? So I hear you already because I could also hear JV when I say maybe we should pivot on something. He's like, what? We just started. Or again, or does that mean I'm failing? I understand all those questions. And what's my favorite thing to say? More than one thing is true. So those are valid questions to ask, but you also have to ask yourself the other question of, am I going down the wrong path? Am I doing the thing that I still need to be doing? Is it still as valuable as it was when I set those goals or those intentions? So we want to assess it, right? And to get out of that mindset of, does this mean it's a failure? Does this mean I didn't accomplish something? That doesn't mean a thing. Dates, time, all the stuff that we've created are really arbitrary. They help keep us on track, but they are arbitrary in the sense. So if something that we're doing is no longer a value, is no longer have the same meaning, then it makes sense to pull away from it, to make that adjustment. So change that mindset. Don't think about anything as a failure. It would actually be ridiculous to keep going down a path that is no longer serving you. That's why you want to do that assessment. But a lot of times when we're setting these goals, especially because we're looking out for the whole year, we're not thinking about just tomorrow. A lot of times we are on the right path. 
and we are heading in the right direction and we are making progress towards what we want, that assessment is also really great at that. The assessment lets us know that we are heading down that right path, that I am making the progress that I need to make. Or if I need to just make small tweaks here and there, I'm doing better at this than I thought, but I'm falling behind on this. Okay, do I need to put more attention to that or is it okay? This is a great time to get that assessment done so that we can make those minor tweaks if we need to. Or in those rare moments, everything's going absolutely perfect and we just want to keep going. That's great to know also, right? Think about it. When you get a chance to catch something that's going off track early and make that adjustment, you're going to be more successful. If you need to make an overhaul and you get it done early, you get quicker to the part that you need to be headed towards. If you're going in the right path and everything is going the way you want it to and you just need to make minor adjustments, then you got that killer momentum and that confirmation that you're going. So it's a great reinforcement. And we know reinforcement is one of the most important things when we talk about the three R's of changing things, right? So no matter which direction you're looking at, there's so much value in that assessment period. So I want you to do that. I want you to understand that assessing things as you go is great. In April, not just because of the alliteration, but because we are heading into Q2 and we are really starting that second quarter, it's a great time to look at those numbers. It's a great time to look at those goals. It's a great time to do that assessment to make sure we're heading on the right track so that we can catch things early if we need to, or we can double down on something that we're headed towards. And we love it. I want to hear what you're going to assess, how the assessment turned out, if that was valuable for you. And what you think about it. And of course, that means sign into my DMs. Do it, baby. I want to hear from you. I want to know how you're thinking about April and that assessment period. And if you're on the right track or if you need to make modifications. And remember, mindset's the key part of this. A lot of this is we believe things that necessarily aren't true a lot of times of oh, this means I'm not doing something as well as I could. Sure. That's information, baby. That's data. We want that. We want to know what we're doing. Data is always a good thing. So go get that data. Do that assessment. Check us out. You know where you can find us at jbthedoctor.com or at jbthedoctor on all our socials. Find me at Dr. Andre Caruso on all the socials, including LinkedIn. Uh, and of course, I hope you're watching this on YouTube. Do us a favor. Give us that like, share. All that stuff really matters for us. It's all for the algorithm. We got to do it. So help us out in that way. We really, truly appreciate you. And I will see you soon hearing all about your assessment. Peace out, yo.